We're taking you on a beautiful backcountry canoe and portage adventure. Come along on our four day trip as we travel 50 kilometers into the Canadian wilderness and enjoy some stunning scenery, violent weather, and heart stopping sunrises. Let's go! <sighs> Welcome back to Road to Pitches. Our names are Suchiko and Moritz, and we are converting a GMC Savannah box truck into our dream camper van. All right, we're off on another adventure. Maya. <laughs> Where are we going? To the Kukagami Lake. That's the Tamagami area. Let's go, drive faster. This, my friends, is cottage traffic. Woohoo! Food time! In 600 meters, merge onto Ontario 400 North. She doesn't want any food. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's go! This is a sign that fall is back. Pumpkin spices back. Mmm. You want more of my stuff? Yeah, do you wonder why I buy two of them? Continue on Ontario 400 North for 10 kilometers. What are you most excited about for this trip? Mm -hmm. Bonfire. Bonfire. We didn't bring marshmallows. I don't like them anyways. <laughs> what do you call them in German? Marshmallows. <laughs> Look at that sunset. <laughs> Look at that sunset. <laughs> So, uh, it's around 9 o'clock. We are halfway on our way to Sudbury or to our destination. And I think that's a good time to stop. We pulled off some road of the highway somewhere in the middle of nowhere. And I'm gonna pop up the tent and go sleep. morning! This is honestly the best thing about having a rooftop tent is we can just pull over and camp pretty much anywhere. Although the people who owns this road came by this morning and was like, this is private property, get out! And we're like, we're leaving! <laughs> We are here, and um, today we'll be paddling up here into the outlet bay, do like three or four potages, and then camp somewhere on this lake, wherever we like. Hello beautiful people! Hello. We are on Kukagami Lake. This is near Sudbury and we know we always say Northern Ontario. This is actually it's quite north compared to Toronto. It's about five hours north and uh, we arrived here around noon. Um, yeah on our first leg of this trip so 
come along with us while we go on our first portage vacation ever. Mortz and I have never done this together before and this will be my first time doing like a four day canoe trip. It'll be interesting. Okay, this is our last portage of the day. We thought the last portage was the last portage, but 70 meters was wildly different from 330 meters, which is what we're gonna embark on now. So last portage, and then we'll be at our home lake for the evening where we can set up camp. Let's go. And that's home for the evening. Happy? Happy, looks good. A little teepee for our turt. Tarp. I'm hungry. <laughs> Westside Beef for the amazing meat that you always supply. We subscribe to your monthly box and it's just, it's changed our lives. Like, we actually eat good quality meat now and we eat less of it, but mm -hmm. when we do eat it, it's like ribeye steak or lamb chops and it's amazing, so thank you. What a luxury. Mm -hmm. Camping day okay. one, lamb chops and a fresh salad. <laughs> and a beer. And a beer. So we did a makeshift salad dressing and it's actually really good. The leftover juices from the lamb chops, some olive oil, and then we crushed in some veggie bouillon and we mixed some beer in it just to thin it out. And it's actually really good. I'm like, I'm like in heaven right now with how amazing our dinner was, is. Couldn't have asked for better. Well, I'm enjoying the rest of this beer on this beautiful lake, Carafel Lake, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. Let's see what it looks like outside.
Like just chocolate. That's like, good. Just melted chocolate. That's all it tastes like. It's like a gooey chocolate granola bar. Mm. Mm. Very yummy. Someone's watching you. It's true. That's how it always <laughs> That is true. <laughs> We are currently at this campsite right here and we got to go what looks like 2.5 kilometers over this way and then we have 30 meters of a portage and then we pick one to get out to this big lake and then that's 1.5 plus 3 past this big elephant campground plus 2.6 2.5 and we actually want to get down into here go through poison ivy and hopefully camp at this water slide spot and if not if we have more energy we can keep going down to about here because tomorrow's weather is not going to be great
We made it to Donald Gorge and going up towards Donald Lake. Onwards! Yes, there's like crazy rocks over there. Last portage of the day, and then we'll hopefully find a nice campsite. All right, so that was supposed to be our site with a fire pit at the end. And every time I talk, the wind comes. And then we were supposed to camp somewhere in there, but it's basically a hill. And so we decided to just keep on going. Waterfront property with built-in fireplace, outdoor patio furniture. You got enough space for one, two, three, four bedrooms, maybe five, maybe five. or you could build this into a beautiful garage for a Qbert. <laughs> that would be fun. <laughs> what do you think? I love it. Made a good choice to bail. Yeah, and to do the extra two portages. And it's so quiet and not windy here. Yeah, that too. Yeah. It's good. All right, you guys know what it looks like when we're pitching up tents. So we're going to set up camp really quickly and then we'll bring you back when we make dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Mismatched fingers, but be right back. Here's dinner. We've got some 
grilled halloumi and some red pepper, some endives, and couscous with dehydrated veg and a bouillon. And of course, they didn't turn out all like that. It was more like that. <laughs> we tried, the fire was a little out of control, but you know, half of it is good. I'm happy with that. Hey guys, so just a quick update on where we're at. We said we would go to water slide here and camp at this spot, but we didn't really like the sound of the water, so we decided to go move forward just a little bit. And this was a little peninsula we showed you earlier with like no cover. So we're like, screw that. We still got some more time and we got to this point and this last paddle across the lake took like 300 odd paddles. Um, there was just so much wind built up from the day and I've never paddled so hard in my life. But now we're here at this wonderful lakefront property and this is where we're supposed to be at tomorrow night. So we're already a day ahead. We're not sure what we're gonna do, but we've got plenty of time, which is great. And we're running out of light here. So we're just gonna leave you with some nice shots of the fire and we'll catch you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Split second, it looked like it was gone. It was just around the corner. Oh. But I oops, tied it up now. So, Even if something should happen, it won't go away. Tan's good. Tan's also good. Oh, let's see. That's like 20 past 2. Yeah, I sleep well, way better now. Like, it's actually almost no wind on the lee side of the island, but... Mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe we should camp there. <laughs> it's a little steep there. <laughs> no, I feel way better. Because <laughs> I always heard this tacking noise. It sounded like a boat hitting something. Mm. But I guess it's not our boat. No, it didn't sound like it. <laughs> I don't think we can hear our boat. If it flies away. <laughs> <laughs> well, shit, now we're swimming. Yeah. So, good morning. You're a little foggy. As you could have, as you, as you probably saw, we had a bit of a crazy evening. We seriously thought the tent was gonna blow over at one point. Um, I think the wind must have been at like 50, mm. probably like 50 plus kilometers per hour there was a huge storm and like thunder that would last for like 15 20 seconds long i'm curious to see the radar when we get back home and see how bad that all looked but anyway we survived it and it looks like there's a bit of sun so let's get outside <laughs> okay, so we decided this morning that we are going to do a 860 meter portage today to get that out of the way, which means we have to tear down camp again and move a little bit. Um, I think we only canoe like maybe a three kilometer canoe, five at most. You got gunk all over your face. Mm -hmm. uh, five kilometer. I'm so tired. Uh, canoe trip so that we can shorten Tuesday 
which is tomorrow, um, so that we don't get back home at like 9, 10 in the evening. So we're gonna take it a little slower today. My arms are so sore, my muscles are sore, my neck is sore, my butt is sore. I don't know if I'm doing what? From sitting. From portaging maybe? I don't know, but I'm pretty sore. And yesterday it was funny because we were reflecting on like which was our favorite leg of the journey yesterday. What was yours? I like the beginning when we were paddling in this marshy creek. Meandering. Meandering. Uh, lazily down the creek. And then my favorite part was the last bit where it was like, one, two, 50, 100, let's go, let's go. <laughs> and then when we arrived there, it was like, we deserve this landing. <laughs> so you can see how our personalities differ. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, let's get back. Breakfast. 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 Okay, y'all, I know this is a very strange thing to be filming, which is my toilet paper, but I'm doing it because I've never seen anyone do this before. If you take the inside cardboard roll out of your toilet paper and stick the whole roll of toilet paper inside your Ziploc bag, it will act as a dispenser. And right on top, I keep my handy dandy hand sanitizer. And that's it. I hope that was helpful to some people. I've never seen anyone else do this but me, so. Tip of the day from Sachiko. Got all our stuff? Yes. And uh, let's head up. Pretty empty. Ready to rumble? Rumble. I think we roar. Okay, portage number one. Is this the long portage? Yeah, 800 something meters. I'll have to wait till afternoon, hopefully, yeah. Today turned out way more windy than even tonight, I think. I think we're dealing with like 40 to 50 kilometer winds. It's like the worst wind I've ever experienced. Um, we were going against the wind and the canoe was just like wave, wave, splash, wave, <laughs> splash. And I remember what adrenaline feels like. <laughs> I'm like... Uh, we had a good half hour off pushing against the wind until we hit the, the shore and then we could hide a bit 
behind a few islands and wow it was like i wish we could have taken you along with us but um i think we might have capsized if we did there were some um guttural noises made some yelling and screaming um but we made it we are on a so a tiny peninsula tiny peninsula uh, that seems to be in the middle of all the wind action we hope you can hear us we packed very simple lunches just some what is this rye bread with sunflower seeds tins of herring which is very high in b12 uh, they're lightweight and delicious and since i'm terrible at catching fish this one works really well thank you without grilled vegetables. All right, last meal. What is it? Pasta with pesto. Tomato. This is our third night out on our backcountry canoe trip. We are on Lake Kukagami and we'll catch you in the morning. Have a wonderful evening. Good night. Good night. We hope you enjoyed that beautiful sunset this morning. We just like saw red on the side of the tent. We're like, oh my God. And Amor is it's not a morning person. I was like, look, and he was like, oh, started getting up right away. So I was really happy about that. But we decided to just pack up early and take advantage of the wind, which is blowing in our favor right now and avoid what happened yesterday with the crazy wind because we still have five hours to drive after this. So we thought, let's just get going and we'll have breakfast when we get back to the lodge where we rented our canoes from. So we'll see you there shortly. like coming along with us on our canoe backcountry trip yeah i hope you enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe if you're not sharing already it's so important to be sharing content during this time when we're all kind of just holed up inside so we'll see you next time on the road to pitches no pitches this time but no next time <laughs>